hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a what's for dinner video i'm going to show you guys three recipes that i made for dinner this past week so what i'm doing is i'm cutting up some chicken because we are going to make sesame chicken for the first recipe i love making chinese food at home because it's just like a healthier option and it tastes so good and it's fun to make so like I mentioned, just cutting up some chicken into bite-sized pieces and all the measurements will be down below including like the ingredients for each recipe just so it's a lot easier for you guys to follow if you're making it at home. Alright and next we are going to take some flour and I'm going to add it into a large Ziploc bag and then I'm going to add my chicken into the same bag and I'm going to coat the chicken with the flour and this is just going to help it fry up. So once you're done cooking the chicken I just set it to the side and now we're going to make the sauce. So I just added some oil to a saucepan and then I'm going to add soy sauce. I'm going to add one tablespoon of chili sauce, honey. Um, we're also going to do some rice vinegar and sesame oil. And at first I wasn't making a whole lot of Chinese food at home because you do have to buy like certain ingredients. But once you do, you can make pretty much any Chinese food at home. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that and add it all into the saucepan and then we're going to also add some cornstarch to the pan and this is going to help make the sauce really nice and thick. And then in the pan that I cooked the chicken, I just kind of washed it off. Um, I'm going to add some sesame seeds and I'm going to get that nice and toasty. It only takes like a minute or two. And then I'm going to add the chicken back to the pan and I'm going to add the sauce. And you could add any greens you want. I just did some green beans um, and then I topped it off with the toasted sesame seeds. And this was so incredible. I really hope you guys try it out. Um, and then the next dinner I'm going to make is tacos, which is so easy to make. I'm just browning some ground beef into a pan and then I added my seasoning. I make my own seasoning for tacos, so I'll link, I'll definitely type it out below. And then I add like a tablespoon or two of salsa, which is like my secret, but it's so good. And now I am just grating up some cheese for the toppings, cutting up some lettuce, and you just put it together and it's like the easiest dinner ever. It takes me like 20 minutes and it's so good. The last recipe I will be making is a chicken pot pie. So what I'm going to do is just cut up some carrots and some celery into some bite-sized pieces. In a large pan, I'm just going to add like a 1 fourth cup of butter and then I'm going to add the vegetables into the pan and get them nice and sauteed so they're nice and soft um you don't want to cook them all the way because we're going to put it in the oven i'm also going to add a couple of cloves of garlic again give it a good mix and then i'm going to season it with just some salt pepper rosemary and some oregano I'm gonna go ahead and add some frozen peas to my skillet. Um, frozen peas doesn't take long at all to cook up, so I always add it last. And then I'm just gonna give everything a really nice stir. And then I'm going to add the sauce for this chicken pot pie. So for the sauce, you're just gonna do half a cup of heavy cream and then one and three fourths cup of chicken broth. Mix it all together and then I am going to go ahead and add the shredded chicken to this and you can also use turkey if you want. And then to make the sauce nice and thick, I'm going to add like a little bit of flour little by little until the sauce is nice and thick. I'm going to then um, add this mixture into a pie crust 
um, you can make your own pie crust. I'm just going to go ahead and use the frozen kind. I've always done this and it tastes really good. So add the mixture into the pie crust and I'm just going to go ahead and top it with another pie crust and put it in the oven for 350 for 40 minutes and that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon.